Uh, let us create a few more uh, items with the QuickBook. Uh, okay, it is enough regarding service, but now let us go regarding this one. Uh, regarding inventory part, right? The second part. What is inventory part? Used for goods you purchased, track as inventory and resale. It is basically inventory. Inventory means anything which you have in the organization for resale purpose or goods, right? You purchase it from Ahmad and you sell it for, for Mahmoud, right? So anything used for goods you purchase, track as inventory and resell. It is basically for the resale purpose, not for the usage in the organization. Now it depends on the organization that what you sell, for example. Let us say, for example, we have a computer shop, for example, in Sharanau, mm -hmm. and we want to sell those items basically there, right? Computer shop and several things regarding computers are available. For example, the first thing that we want to say is mouse, for example, right? Whether it is the sub account of something else, if is it if it is the sub account, just mention. Otherwise, just leave it. Manufacturer part number. Manufacturer part number means the production ID. If production ID is available regarding that one, you can mention. Otherwise, just leave it. Like for example, the serial number which you have in your TV, right? It is a, the serial number which you have in your mobile that can be called the manufacturer part number. If it is available, mention or otherwise just leave it. Unit of measurement, mention the unit of measurement. No, it is not our, but basically it can be anything else. For, regard, for example, regarding mouse, so it is belong to count, right? We count it. It can be in pair, it can be, for example, in dozens, it can be, for example, each. For example, let us say this one is right for our unit of measurement. Or if it can be it unit, for example, right? You can edit it. You can add something else. For example, let us say count. It is just the uh, yeah. It is fine. Uh, otherwise, it, yeah, that's fine. Let's say this one. Otherwise, if this is not enough, we can go for other. You can edit, you can create your own unit of uh, measurement, right? So now provide information regarding purchase as well as provide information regarding regarding sale. Let us say the regarding cost. For example, number one. We purchase each mouse, for example, for $10. For how much? We purchase for $10. And of course, each time when you purchase good, cost of good or cost of inventory is directly to link to cost of goods sold account or CGS account. Which account? CGS account. So that is why it is already directly linked with this one. But if you think that if it does not belong to this one, you can select any account as you think it is feasible. But I think, for example, that is good for us, so we have to collect that one, right? Second one is usually from whom you purchase it. Suppose we purchase it from Nasir Ahmed. Next one is information regarding regarding selling price. How much you sell it in the market? Let us say, for example, we sell it for fifteen dollar, right? Whether it is taxable or not, yes, it is taxable. But later on, we'll talk regarding tax, how to make tax, or how to charge tax. Income account. This is belong to which account? For example, once again, this is our main sale, so it is belong to which account? Sales account, right? Few more points are basically see it is mentioned here regarding markup and so on. Markup and margin basically show that how much profit you charge or how much profit you want to charge for this one. And it can be edited from here as well. See, even for example, if you do not don't want to mention the price of the product, right? For example, cost was 10, but you don't want to mention the price, how much you sell in the market, that selling price can be fixed from here itself. For example, go for the market, right? Type of markup. Markup can be two types. Can be percentage over cost, can be amount over cost, or can be default. Default is basically percentage over cost. Percentage over cost means, for example, how much you purchase, but how much you cost. Like, for example, we can say uh, this pharmaceutical companies, uh, they charge in this way. For example, they purchase some product for 10 Afghani, they charge 20% profit. So directly, they can get their selling price, right? Yes. So let us say that, for example, in this case, we want a markup of uh, 50 percentage. How much markup? We want to charge 50 percentage markup for us. If you want to charge 50 percentage markup for us, so 50 percentage of 10 become 5. 5 plus 10 become how much? 50, right? So in this way, so you can make your markup uh, properly, right? So what is margin? Margin basically shows the amount of profit on the selling price. How much is the profit? Sorry, the percentage of the uh, the 
the percentage of the profitability on the selling price for example in this case uh, we purchased for 10 and we sold it for 15 how much profit we made for example 5 right 5 divided by 15 become how much 33 percentage so this can be called as what margin the percentage of profitability on selling price is called what margin or otherwise for example you can change this one suppose we want to make a margin of 100% if you make margin of 100 percentage so it means you purchase for 10 you sell it for how much for 20 okay or otherwise for example if you don't want to go for the this this way of uh, this market you want to go for example for the amount right how much amount do you want to charge for example let us say that the cost was 10 but we want to make for example 7 uh, we can say dollar as a profit for us then 7 plus 10 the selling price become how much this one Again, margin is how much? This one. But usually in the market, we take the percentage. If you want to take the percentage, so then please make this one as how much? As 50 percentage, right? Suppose we charge 50 percent of profit. It becomes how much? 50, right? A few more informations are available for yourself. You can have it. See, this are the information. If item cost change on purchase, right? So what QuickBooks should do for you? Always update item cost never update always up, update the item cost always ask about the updating cost and so on see always in the business we purchase the new new items if the new items purchased and the cost changed so what the quickbook should do should the quickbook also update the cost of those products for example previously we purchased this marker or what the mouse for example for ten dollar next time we purchase this one for twelve dollar if there is a change in the price of that one, should the QuickBook update the cost for 12 or not? Yes, we say so. Please, QuickBook should update this one. Always update this one. Always, if there is a change in the price of the product, please change the price of this one. You can see the shopkeepers in the market. When they purchase something for the higher price, they increase the price as well. Right? When the item cost change, next point. When the item cost change, always update price, never update price, ask me. Always update price always if cost increase increase my cost if cost increase please increase my price as well right so please take care of these points as well these are very important points, right so mouse is purchased from ahmad from nisar ahmad for ten dollar and it is said we sold for how much fifteen dollars next is inventory information inventory is basically a type of asset so where we should record it inventory should be recorded under which asset under asset account Already account is selected for this one, but if you think that this account is not suitable, so please the suitable account for this one. Next information is regarding maximum or minimum amount of inventory that you should have. For example, let us say that in our business, the minimum number of mouse should be 100. It should not come less than this, this, this part. It means at least 100 mouse should be available in the organization. If it is less than that, on that case, you have to purchase or you have to reorder it. Why? Because we don't want to see the shortage of mouse. And also, what should be the maximum? The maximum number of mouse should be 1,000. It should not be more than 1,000. And the next one is on hand. How many you have right now on your hand? For example, right now, we have how much? We have 500. And this is the total value. From where they get the value, 500 divided, multiply to the cost. So, 5 hundred into uh, 10 become this much so as on this date so let us change the date to the first date as on first of april we have the following the following number of mouse and this is the value of this one you can save this one okay right let us create one more mouse for example one more inventory part inventory part for example we want to sell a few more items uh, let us say, for example, we say uh, uh, RAM as well, for example. We sell RAM as well, right? RAM is also one of the case. RAM, for example, motherboards, computers, and so on. These are the points that we needed, right? So please register that one as well. Suppose unit of measurement, for example, once again, should be done, dozens. And the cost, for example, should be, let us say, $100. Not $100. Suppose, let us say, it is $30. $30 cost of goods sold yes usually from whom we purchase suppose from the same and regarding this one how much you charge and so on once again you can make it from the market 
or otherwise you can change it from here as well right don't worry even you make from this one you the quickbook can set up the markup for this one right so 30 we purchased if you purchase if you sell for 60 then it shows a markup of 100 percent they show the markup of 100 percent right whether it's taxable or not yet it is, yes it's taxable and it is to be linked to which account to the sales account the minimum quantity for example should be 100 the maximum quantity like the previous one it should be thousand and how many of ram you have right now for example i have 400 right so multiply you get the value it says opposed on the first of april right so in this way you can create the number of inventory which are available in the organization provide information regarding purchase as well as regarding what sales as well so this was the point